Hey guys, Yankee Cowboy here. This is a long overdue, a long awaited video. I got a lot of subscribers that are mad over this video. I apologize. But my original design on this, I threw out the window. This is a much better design. I'm much happier with this. And I think in the, I haven't even, these videos are so old. This is so overdue. I forgot even if I explained what I was going to do in the original one. But I'm going to go over that real quick. Let me grab the parts and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Originally, I was going to do um, this setup here with two dowels and drill holes and have this block to slide up and down on these dowels. And I really wasn't happy with, with the design I had originally. And that's why this video pretty much fell by the wayside. But I had an epiphany today when I went to the Home Depot and I came home and it's done. Here it is, the revised uh, version of this arrow cutting saw. Uh, da, 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 let's see, I'm gonna give you guys all the specs. I'll give you everything in the description box below. But what I will say is this whole saw setup is probably, it's under 50 bucks to do. So it's really cheap. But let's get into what my main modification was. I went to the Home Depot today, I had to go in the cabinet aisle I had to get uh, some child safe locks for the, for my son, and I seen the rail slides for the cabinets, for the doors, the drawers. And I was like, that'd be a great idea. It'd be better than my wooden dowels. It'll be more secure. It'll be more true. So basically, this is a a roller bearing draw slide. And I'm gonna I'll pan in on the camera. We'll go over everything on the saw and how this is done. But this is this is great, guys. This is probably better than. The arrow saw you're going to get at Cabela's, to be perfectly honest with you. Because this was all, I, I leveled it with the torpedo level, everything's all centered. It's it's dead on. I've already cut one of my uh, Easton Full Metal Jacket arrows, and we'll, and we'll cut one here to show you how it works. But this is a draw slide. You got your ruler, your saw. This is a one and a half by one and a half block that's secured with three screws. It's not going anywhere. And you slide this, you line it up with the number what size you want to cut it to, 20 inches, 25, whatever. This will cut all the way up to 30 and a half. I mean, I, I could have made it go longer, but my draw length is only 26, and I don't know anybody who has a draw length that long, so this is gonna fit the bill. The saw itself, got this at Harbor Freight for 30 bucks. The draw slides were, they came two per pack for 10 bucks at Home Depot. And let me grab that, I'll show you. This is the package they come in guys you get two draw slides for 10 bucks these are 16 inch like i said i'll put all the i'll put all the specifications in the description box and the roller bearing i mean as you can see it glides nice this will stow perfectly i've made a little paracord uh, safety stop here for the saw when it's closed so you pop that paracord down that'll open up there's your saw blade You'll adjust this to where you need it to be, put your arrow in. But let me cut camera here and pan in and, we'll, and I'll go over this whole thing so you guys get a really nice look at okay, it. Okay guys, let's take it from the saw right here. The saw is mounted here with two screws. You see I have a line there, it's perfectly leveled across. So we know that the, the saw is true. Here's the draw slide. And you'll see my ruler starts at four inches here because I measured from the end of this to the saw blade. And that's where that ended, so that's where I cut it. So you got now that the numbers are true all the way out to where you're going to put your your arrow in the knock in the back and the stop. Let me show you how this works, guys. Take a good look at this. There's all roller bearings. Let me zoom in on there. See these are all roller bearings in there. This thing glides perfect. Obviously, I got to neaten it up, guys. It's just you know I threw it together when I got home. I got a quarter inch hole drilled here, which my full metal jackets fit in there perfect. So what you'll do now. See where the numbers are? Don't mind this piece of wood, guys. I'm gonna clean this whole thing all up. And like I said, this goes all the way out to 30, 35 inches, but I don't need to go out that far. Okay, guys, so let's say I wanna cut an arrow at 25 and three quarter, which is what I cut mine at. So what you'll do is you'll put your arrow in, and then you'll roll this back to 25 and three quarter, which is right there. So you're lining the edge of this wood up with the number that you want. And then you'll put your arrow shaft in there 
you'll put it in here and I still take the torpedo level and just make sure it's level and then you chop it and then I'll show you what you do after that. So I'm going to pan back out. We're going to get an arrow in here guys that we're going to uh, we're going to cut one up. Okay guys, here's an arrow that I cut previously. If you line the two ends up here, you can see that this one's a lot shorter. This one's cut at 25 and 3 quarter. Now the first thing I want to do is, let me put the cut one out of the way, is I want to grab my pliers and I'm going to take the knockout. These are in pretty tight. These full metal jackets are really nice. I can't wait to shoot these. Just take your pliers and give it a little wiggle, a little twist, and pull the knockout. Set this aside. Don't lose that because you're going to need it. Now, like I said, we're going to take this arrow. We're going to put it. In, we're going to put it in the saw. Take the back portion. It's just going to rest inside my hole. It's, it, it's barely inside the hole, guys. Let me just just show you this really quick. At least on the setup that I have, this is how I got it going on. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Trying to do this freehand, guys. This is, just see, it just barely goes in the hole. It's just enough to hold it. It's in there solid. It's the exact same size. It's not going anywhere. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this camera back on the tripod. Okay. All right. That's in there. Like I said, I'm going to grab the torpedo level just to double check that it's level. Which it's spot on. So now with that being spot on, let's get it dialed into 25 and 3 quarter first. There's 26. It's 25 and 3 quarter right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and screw it and lock it down. Put the level back on it. It's dead nuts level, which doesn't matter if it's off a little because I'll show you after this what, what the next step is. So that's locked in there guys, just fire up the saw. There you have it, you can make a, a pencil out of this or whatever you want. I'm probably gonna find something to do with the scraps. All right, let's take it out. Let me check it against my other arrow. Oh, it would help if I put the knock back in. Wow, I almost thought I screwed it up. <laughs> And remember to put the uh, put the knock on the floor and drop it. Wow, guys, I seem to have lost it. All right, guys, bear with the Yankee cowboy. That's why this is uh, live television at its finest. There we go. Normally I'd edit that out, but you guys got to see what a goofball I am, really, so I'm getting a full hand now. All right, so you're going to put this in, and you line the knock up with your cock vein. All right, now let's, let's check this out for the second time. Look at that, guys. Spot on. Dead nuts even. Okay. Now, now that we got this one cut, this is the one I already did earlier. Now what we're gonna do with these full metal jackets, they, they give you the chamfering tool to make sure that's true and square. So now just take this and set it down on a level surface. We'll put it right there on, on the arrow saw. Let me show you this quick. See there's a little tit on there? Just make sure that's perfectly square. So you just take this, and just twist it back and forth like, like you're trying to start a fire. See that? And that takes care of the end. Now the end is perfectly squared off. We could put the hit knocks in here. These are this has the hit knocks. Hit stands for a hidden insert thread. So once you're when you put these inserts in, these go all the way in. You don't have that little metal piece that you normally have on a traditional arrow. These are a hidden insert. It's kind of the full metal jackets thing. So when you put your field point, your broadhead, that meets flush right with this arrow. So it looks like one smooth uh, fluent piece of tube instead of having that extra little piece there that you normally do. Okay guys, I took the liberty and loaded up another one really quick. 
I want to show you guys the saw blade here, how nice it is. Nice little saw blade, which you can buy these at Harbor Freight Replacement or Cabela's has arrow saws that do fit this as well. So let's go ahead and chop up this third one. Just like that. Maybe not. There, there we go, focus. Focus power. There we go. Not close enough, you get the idea guys. All right, so let's pan back out. And I wanna go over this again, guys. I'm gonna pan up and down and give you guys a good look at it. Let's unlock this one out of the vise. We'll pull it out. We'll get our chamfering tool. Make sure it's true. Hold it flat down on there and just give it a twist like you're starting to fire. Beautiful guys. Let's see if I can get you to get a look at that. See how it takes care of that edge nice? Alright, we're gonna take our knock. Stick our knock back in. Always to line it up with the cock vein. I may end up changing these knocks anyway, guys. I'm not a fan of red. I like the green knocks that I have on my other one, but let's line it up with the cock vein. All right, let's measure it against the other one. This thing is awesome, guys. Spot on. Look at that. Both sides, spot on. I'm pretty impressed, guys. I'm pretty pretty pumped up on this saw. This thing works awesome. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this. And I wish, you know, if, if somebody does go out and builds it off of this, let me know what you think of it when you're done because you're, you're going to love it. All right, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to lock it down, put my homemade little paracord lock on here so it stays closed. So you just close that up to stay down. All right, I'm going to pop the camera off, guys, and we're going to do another, we're going to pan over this again. Guys, this isn't going to be any of my best work as far as a video because I'm completely shot and tired. It's been a long day, but I really want to get this video out after I had the epiphany on how to do this the, the best way possible. All right, so there it is, guys. There's the saw. There's the roller bearing draw slide. The one and a half by one and a half block. I threw a muzzy broadhead sticker on there so it was hanging around and a Hunt New Hampshire sticker because it was a bumper sticker somebody gave me. It's hanging around, so I said, let me stick it there. I was going to paint it, guys, but this video was so long overdue. I just had to get this thing done. And I mean, it works. It serves a purpose. It doesn't really need to look fancy. And I don't think it looks bad, actually. This is uh, glued down, by the way, guys. All right, let's, that's another thing. Let's go over how this is constructed and, and what to use. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the, the, um, all the stuff you're going to need in the description box. But this roller bearing slide is, this is just awesome. This is a great idea. All right, so $30 saw from Harbor Freight. Two screws, it's lined up. It's nice and true. This is a one by five and a half piece of pine. It's like two bucks at Home Depot, two, three dollars. The draw slide was 10 bucks for two. The yardstick was about a dollar at Harbor Freight. This block here, this one and a half by one and a half block was like a dollar at Home Depot. So, I mean, do the math guys. It was fairly, fairly cheap to do. And uh, it works great. So, I think it's a keeper guys. If anybody decides to build one, I really want some feedback on what you think of it. I want to know what you think of this one. Finally, that's done, and you guys see how, how good it works. Let me line these up so you can take a look. So you know I'm not cheating you and not being dishonest. All right, well, guys, let me, li let me line them up so they're even. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, guys, we're going to go over to the, the old review bench and have some final thoughts on the saw. All right, guys, closing thoughts on the arrow saw. Again, I apologize for this video taking probably about a year. I don't know, I have to scroll back, but please go back and watch 
the first video, part one, part two, and then obviously if you're watching this video, you're watching part three. But go back and take a look at the other two, the other two videos, part one and part two, and you'll see what I was talking about with, with the slides and all that stuff. I just think this is a much better setup. As you saw, cut, cut like a champ. That close up when I cut it and you saw it hang up, I was looking at the camera, that's why I did that. I didn't follow through with it. But the saw cuts fine, as you see. But I think it's great. I think it's gonna give me years of service of cutting my own arrows. And I got the full metal jackets right here, guys. The box. And then I also have a box of breast cancer arrows for my wife. She's got a bow for her birthday. And I bought her some new arrows for Christmas. So I gotta cut these for her, get them sized up. And uh, the arrow saw should get a lot of use and the Yankee Cowboy residence. Okay, as promised, every video I'm gonna give you a knife update. It's knife update time. I've been grinding and doing some work. This week was kinda of busy. I have the game dinner tomorrow night, so tomorrow's a wash. Sunday I'm gonna try and do some more work. But I have a couple of knives that are in process. I'll give you guys a close look at it. I mean, this still needs to be cleaned here. There's still a lot of cleaning up. This is just a rough grind. But I think I'm finally getting the hang of it, guys. As you can see, I got a nice nice grind on there. Let's see if you can focus on that. It's pretty good there. The Ricasso is good. So I think the Yankee Cowboy is going on the right step with the knives. They're starting to come out the way I want them. See, I have to have this line perfect. See this knife here, guys? Stamped the YC logo in there just to try it out. See how this one's off a little? I gotta clean that up. This, normally I would throw this in the trash, but I'm gonna be able to clean it up, guys. That's just a small hiccup to fix. But as you can see, this one's mint. The Yankee Cowboy logo will be stamped in perfect on this one. I'm gonna try and get one done for the, for the giveaway coming up. These are the scales that are going to be going on it. Got these nice green scales that will be on it. These will all be cleaned up and nice looking when it's done. So knife making is going well, as you can see, finally. Some progress being done. And one correction on the, on the HIT technology. That stands for Hidden Insert Technology. I got the bag right here. Hidden Insert Thread, Hidden Insert Technology, same thing. And they also give you the tool. To push in the th uh, to push in the insert, these inserts will be hidden inside the shaft. So I mean, you pay a lot for the full metal jackets, but they give you a lot of stuff with them. You get the you get the little tool to square off the face. You get the thing to, to insert it. You get the glue it at the whole caboodle. So they, they they do give you a lot of stuff. So I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up. Let me have a quick sip off of my Bud Light. This is a koozie from Larry. Thanks, Larry. I got my Christmas package. I'll be getting your package out to you soon, pal. Sorry about that. All right, we touched base on the knife making, the arrow saw. Like I said, I think that was, uh, was great. So any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching The Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy.